Welcome back. 1,400 Google workers signed a letter to upper management protesting Google's secretive plan to launch a new version of Google in China that would help communist China censor and spy on its people. Google CEO Sundar Pichai says the company is not close to launching this censored search engine. It's in its early stages. Let's take a check of the parent company stock, Alphabet, closing the day down more than half a percent. And look who's here. Wall Street Journal editorial board member Bill McGurn. Great to see Hello. you, Bill. Good to see How you. are you? What's your take on all this? Um, well, look, this is part of the price of doing business in China. I lived in Hong Kong for 10 years. The Wall Street Journal, which I work for, owned properties in Hong Kong. Um, we were always very pro-free press, and I don't believe compromised our principles. But this is this is the problem, and it leads to accusations of double standards. Wasn't it Google that a month or two ago said it wasn't going to participate in the Pentagon's yeah. drone program, mm -hmm. but they're going to build the search engine for China? Now, he says it's delayed, but he didn't say they're not going to do it. Right. You know, some people have said, listen, Google work if you don't like it. The way to protest is just quit your job. Right. But you know, the other thing, too, is they also censored James Moore. Right, right, the Google right, worker as well. Right. So, you know, this is a company that says do no evil, but they're in a rock and a right. hard place because China is the most Internet users in the world. Right. It's a big market and it's a temptation. And, and a lot of these uh, companies are finding you need a little more than a slogan. You yeah. have to decide what you really stand for. So you, yeah, go ahead. Finish. No, I was just going to say, so they're being caught up on, on issues of double standards, by some, in this case, by their own employees. Let's get to double amputee wounded warrior Johnny Jones. He says Google is trying to say everyone in the military is participating in something immoral when they protested the Pentagon contracts, to Bill McGurn's point about a month ago. Let's watch what Johnny Jones says. To defend our country is to keep the people within this country safe. If that comes to the point of war, most of the time, if not every time, that's not our decisions. That's our enemy's decision. We're a benevolent country, and we're the largest and most powerful country because we treat other countries with respect in that manner. We don't send our men and women to war for no good reason. For them to make that summation to say that having a defense contract means that you're killing people or doing something immoral is to say that every man and woman who raises their right hand in defense of this country is partaking in something immoral. I take personal offense to that and, uh, and good riddance. I'm glad they're resigning and hopefully they'll get people in there that are patriotic and want to help us out. What do you think of that? Well, I have a soft spot for Marines. My dad was a Marine. I like these guys. I think he makes a good point. Uh, again, it's the double standards. These guys won't participate in a drone. A drone program with the Pentagon, but they will cooperate with uh, communist China on this. And it, it, it gets back to like, it's not just about hypocrisy. There's also this idea you can take these stands in America as though America is one of every other country. And then you go out in the world and you find out maybe we are better than some of these other places. Yeah, and the drone program was going to help. You they know, weren't even limit doing casualties. that much, right? It was, was, it limit was actually, casualties, right? I think it was reading the feed outs from, from what the drones reported. So, you know, there's a, it, there's a tendency, I think, in a lot of these companies to pontificate and preen about how morally superior they are. And then we find out, you know, they kind of dip their hands in the muck as well. You know, here's the thing with what's going on with Google and Silicon Valley. Now they're talking about unionizing based on ethics, right. what the workers' version of ethics are, and forcing their companies to follow what the workers' ethics are. What do you, what's your take on that? Well, look, I, I, I believe in shareholders and so forth. I'm not sure that, um, I'm not sure it'll be any more ethical if the workers run the program, right? Workers here, drive people out of control. And here's where you don't see them writing protest letters at Google about. they trying to basically continuously track you, even if you turn the, lo turn the location right. service off and you use another Google app, they still track you. That's right. They don't you see a protest letter about right. that. Now, look, I think, I think what we've seen in the last few months is a lot of people questioning Silicon Valley and saying, if you guys mean what you say, you've got to behave better. Yeah. and so forth. And they're faced with a lot of tough decisions. And China's a big one. Yeah. You know, are you going to help them censor or, and spy or not? On right? And people, spy yeah. on people? That's a good point. And uh, thank you for your father's service as a Marine. <laughs> yes. Great stuff. What yes. is this? We got to go. We, uh, we're going to talk to Bill next week. He's going to be back with us.